Hi, I'm Seth with Land a House, and this is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to pump water uphill. In this video, I'm going to show you what happens if there's not enough back pressure in your delivery pipe pushing down on the ram pump. Let's head over here to the setup and I'll show you what we've got. My water source is a bucket that has about three feet of head pressure and give or take one foot of hydrostatic pressure. It's coming down a 15 foot long drive pipe made of PVC to a half inch ram pump. And I've got just a, a quarter inch delivery pipe for this example. Usually on my pumps, I've got a half inch output. Comes up and I've got a ladder here that goes up to 17 feet. And that is gonna be our testing grounds for back pressure on the pump. So what is the concept here? If you have a certain amount of head pressure, it's going to make a certain amount of pressure in the pump. So at this three foot, I get anywhere between 25 and 30 PSI typically. Um, it's a pretty good bit of pressure and it has the potential to push water up somewhere around the 21 foot mark. And so the 17, we do have an output, but it's not really fast. Um, but if there's not enough back pressure pushing down on this column of water, then the pump will push the pressure out too fast and it will stop. So our test today is to stage the delivery pipe at a couple of different spots and see where it will work and at what point it stops working. Stage one, three feet of head pressure, five feet of lift out. There's no way this is going to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the pump and I'm gonna push the waste valve until pressure is built up here in the tank. Okay, you'll notice that I now have water coming out of the delivery pipe. And what you're gonna see is that back pressure is never built. And so this is just going to continue to push water out the top, basically faster than the pressure can build in the tank. And it's just never gonna start on its own. I actually see this a lot in my, uh, my email questions. And uh, they say, we just keep pushing, pushing, nothing ever happens. And oftentimes it's because the delivery pipe is two, three, 400 feet away and you don't see what's happening. You just keep pushing this and nothing ever happens. And that's often the, the, the reason. You've got too much head pressure or not enough lift. Round two is at eight feet for the delivery pipe. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Should prime a lot faster. All right, let's see if we can build any pressure here. Okay, I'm hearing water pouring out of the pipe up top. Okay, and the pump is not starting. And as you can see, water is just pouring out there. So, that's a no-go at eight feet. If you're enjoying this video so far and it's helping you understand back pressure, if you would hit the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. Also, if you're interested in a ram pump, I have four different sizes available at landahouse.com and also Amazon. So links to both of those in the description down below. And now our lift is 10 feet above the pump here. Let's go ahead and get this started. See if we have enough back pressure to run this pump. Check it out. It's going on its own now. See if it'll keep it up. Nice. All right, let's head up there and slowly lower it down until it stops the pump. I'm just gonna pick this up and start lowering it down a bit and see when it stops. There we go. So we're actually back down at about the eight foot mark where we were before. So looks like somewhere between eight foot and nine foot is where it has enough back pressure to operate this head pressure. 
the ram pump typically works on a ratio of one to seven of head pressure in to lift out. Which means if I were to increase the height of that bucket by one more foot, I could lift another seven feet up in the air. And by doing that, I may not even be able to keep enough back pressure even at the top of the 17 foot up here. So when you're setting up your own pump, consider that if you have too much head pressure and not enough back pressure in lift, there's going to be issues starting the pump. And uh, you do a couple of things with that. Lower your head pressure. You could increase the height of your delivery. And to do that, even uh, adding uh, a pole and just bringing your delivery pipe up another five to six feet can be enough. A third thing you can do, which is sometimes a little bit tricky, is to create friction by reducing the output size here. So if I were to cut this valve by about 45 degrees, it would cause friction and um, allow you to pump a little bit lower down than what we were just doing. You wanna see that in action? Let's go ahead and try it. Let's drop the pump down to a lower level and cut that valve to see what happens. Let's get optimistic and say we want to pump to five feet of lift with three feet of head pressure. So we were gonna to have to cut this valve really close to the edge. So go ahead and flip this, see if we can build enough pressure in there. All right, so enough water is still coming out to cause an issue. All right, it's close, but I think we got it. Valve is almost totally shut, and we're now pumping water to five feet with three feet of head pressure. Very, very close tolerance there. And as we've noted before, if this valve is just ever so slightly adjusted, there won't be enough friction loss there. Yeah, see, it just burst a lot of water out and that's gonna cause the pump to lose pressure. I hope you found this video helpful. It's nice to know that if you have either too much head pressure or not enough lift, it can cause the pump to stop. If you want to check out the Ram pump, I have four different sizes available at landahouse.com as well as on Amazon. And uh, do hit that thumbs up. It helps tremendously on my YouTube views and be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and tune in next time for another exciting Ram Pump video. Bye.